sweet. Whew. I just realized today that I am now in the middle of April. And I have already scheduled my YouTube channel until the middle of November, almost. Like these things sometimes happen quite quickly. I don't even know. Like all of these videos are somehow different. I talk about entirely different things. And I think what I would like to talk about is where do you take the courage to continue with what you believe is the right way when success is not showing itself yet? So just by looking at the numbers, I cannot really say that I'm successful at what I'm doing. but. I've mentioned before that success is something highly relative. So depending on how you look at it, I can say from my own perspective that I have become more successful in doing these kinds of videos. And I've become more successful as a writer. So I have become quite successful in producing content so I have learned from previous mistakes, which is first I did it with my podcast. I just created stuff, you know, on the go, like on the fly. I would record an episode immediately upload it. And then I learned from that and I started scheduling ahead because I have several abilities and I want to, you know, make the most of all of them. So I want to make sure that I can do these things and maintain like a more or less regular output of my material because you need to like put out energy if you want to promote yourself. And I don't promote myself with social media because I don't like it. So the way I promote myself is just with my art, with my creation because I don't see social media as something creative. I just see it as something like, you know, you have to every day post stuff and I don't like that. So making videos and talking is like, you know, you put out like valuable content, people will spend time with it. That's how I feel like it and that's the way I like doing it. But every time there is a new medium that I use, for example now with YouTube, I started off doing the same thing I did with the podcast, I just like filled it with a lot of content. But this is basically impossible to maintain. So I don't know how other people do it. You know, I like scheduling ahead, so I also don't really think about too much. I think a lot of people run into problems when they start to give their audience what their audience wants instead of doing what they want. So they try to think about, you know, what do people want to see? And they start reacting to, you know, audience requests such as, oh, can you watch, uh, like, this or that TV series and give us a review about it? And I think, you know, just go ahead and bloody watch it yourself because you know I'm not the person who does what you want I'm the person who does what I want because that's what I'm doing here and if I don't do what I want then I've already sold myself and if I sell myself then I'm not doing what I want anymore because then I'm doing what I think other people might want and then I'm feeding into expectations again so I also like to do things a bit unexpected, but at the same time, you know, like some regularity is necessary, but I also realize it's hard to write and then also do YouTube videos. So to me, it's just the easy.